Okay, I'm just doing a video here to answer one of my viewers' questions. And he asked, uh, I love your tutorials, but you haven't told me how I remove an element from one of my views. And this is inside Xamarin iOS. Now the way you do that is I just have a view loaded up here in a tabbed application. So in first view controller, in my view did load method, where I put all my code usually, I've created a new button and I've got a sense of humor today, so I've called it but. <laughs> and I may wonder why I haven't typed UI button in front of this. That's because if you come up here, I have something called public UI button but. Now this public uh, modifier means that any other method inside my program can access this. So you must be careful with these because that essentially makes it a global variable that everyone can access. And then I've just said it's a UI button and it's called but. But when you do this, it says there's just a button and it doesn't actually hold anything at the moment. So when you come into your method, you say my but yeah, equals a new UI button. You give it a frame, new core graphics, CG rect, yada, yada, yada. You give it a but.setTitle, you call it button and for a control state of normal. And then you add it to your view. And so I'm just going to play that so you see what it looks like. And you're in for a surprise. I'm not going to be surprised because I know what's going to happen here. There is no button. So what happened? We come back here, first view controller. There are no errors. We've added our button, but we can't see it. That's because iOS likes to put your button in a white color. And if you have a white background, you won't see it. So it's very good practice just when you're starting out to say but dot background color and then set it to something really garish so you can always see your button and you do that by saying UI color dot whatever you like I've put red but there are so many colors you can choose from and semicolon so now when you run it and you open up your simulator you should see your button okay now, if I just move the simulator to the side so we can see our code, if you look behind, I've said but dot touch up inside because I really have a sense of humor today, plus equals object sender, blah, blah, some other stuff. And all this line does is say when someone touches my butt inside and then let's go over the screen, I want you to do all of the things between these curly brackets. And so back to the reader's question, he said, how do I remove something from the view? Well, you simply call a method called remove from super view. So if I come back here, highlight it so you can see it's that. So you put your item, which in this case is but dot remove from super view. And because it's a method, we put our curly brackets or not curly brackets, rather our parentheses and a semicolon. So whenever I press this button, that inside the touch up inside is going to be activated. So I click and my button's gone. And I hope that answers your question to my YouTube user. And if you have any other questions, then feel free to ask.